No, I'm watching TVs. Bernie, why do you need three televisions? Well, because, Karen, I was diagnosed with ADHD when I was 30, so I need constant stimulation. See, on the big TV, there's a hurricane that might hit us, so if the videos are rushed this week, that's why. But I'm keeping my eye on that. And then on the top right TV, I'm watching a plane crash documentary. And on the bottom right TV, I'm watching Max Keeble's Big Move. All on mute, by the way, because I like to use my imagination. <gasps> don't do it, Max! What if you don't move? Bernie, I'm turning off the TVs! What, all of them? Can't I at least watch two? I want to see if this plane crashes, and I want to see if Max moves. Bernie, come on! Every day you get home from work and all you do is sit here and watch television. Let's go to bed. Ugh, gay. Ugh. So, Boiny, what do you want to do? <laughs> Dancing. Boiny, what are you doing? I'm watching TikToks, Karen. You know, if they had TikTok when I was a teenager, I would have, I don't know, I would have done something. I know I would. Boiny, get off your phone and pay attention to me. Why? Because I want to cuddle, Boiny. Well, Karen, you know we can't cuddle with Tom Brady's last football in the way. Boiny, I don't know why you love this football so much. Well, do I need to explain it for the 50th time? Please don't. Well, I will, because this is the last football that Tom Brady ever threw as a Patriot. And yet Yes, it got intercepted and ran back for a touchdown and he lost. I'm talking generational pants shitting, Karen. But still, I was there. I saw it. Boyny, that doesn't make any sense. Good night, Karen. Can't we just move it for one night? No. Good night, football. <laughs> Boyny, turn your phone off. It's bedtime. People have phones, Karen. They watch them when they go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Sakaya. Is this the right house? I think so. Okay. Let's break in and take everything they got. Okay! I can't believe they don't have doors to open. I don't expect you to kick it open. Shh! There might be people sleeping. You need to be quiet. They're the one who gets the door. Shh! Don't shush me. I'm going to shush you. Shush! You shush! You shush! I shush you! Just be quiet. Let's go! <gasps> Sakaya, look! We hit the jackpot! Three TVs in their living room! They're rich! Oh shit, hurricane coming. Oh shit, we should put up our shutters! We don't have shutters. Then we steal theirs! Oh, good idea. I think we should take off three TVs. I agree. I think it'll look great in our apartment. <gasps> Sakaya! Oh. oh, look at this couch! The guy I remember last week, you tell me you wanted three-seater gray couch! Yes, just like it rooms to go, same color! Oh, he's Perfect. If only they had the matching love seat. <gasps> Sekaya! Oh, matching love seat! Oh, it's literally what you wanted! Oh, coffee table! Coffee table! Is that stand mahogany? Just like you were looking at on Facebook Marketplace! Oh, the only thing we're missing for our dream living room is aqua green web! Oh! oh! Aqua green web! Oh, we should steal whole house. I think we should steal whole house. Let's go! <laughs> <sighs> oh, damn, Karen. We need a new mattress. This one's so hard. Wait a minute. <gasps> the football's gone. Karen! Karen, wake up! Oh, what, Boiny? Karen, Tom Brady's last football is gone! Why, it's fine. You probably just threw it in your sleep. No, I didn't. It was right there. Look. Hmm. <gasps> Boiny! I know. The football's gone. Boiny, I'm that's gone too. Quick, turn on the light. Okay. Oh, Boiny, the whole room is empty. Oh my god, we must have been robbed. Hold on, I'll check the rest of the house. <gasps> Karen, my three TVs are gone. Oh, Boiny, all the furniture is gone. But Karen, my three TVs. How am I going to watch Max People's Big Move, watch plane crash documentaries, and track a hurricane all at the same time? Boiny, all our furniture is gone. Oh, my aqua green lamp. Oh. I'm gonna call the cops. Uh, I gotta call 911. Oh, my other phone's ringing. I wonder who that could be. Hello, 911, what's your emergency? Yes, my house has just been robbed. Everything's gone. Okay, sir, calm down. Do you know who did it? No, but they took everything. Please send somebody right away. Okay, sir, we'll have an officer right out to you. Oh my God, thank you so much. Karen, I called the cops. Wait, Boiny, aren't you the cops? Well, come on, Karen, I think the cops are here. Hello? Oh, thank God the cops are here. Boiny, there's no one there. What are you talking about, Karen? The office is standing right there. Just keep looking. What? <laughs> hey there, somebody call the cops? Boiny! Well, you did call the cops, right? Boiny, stop it! <laughs> hey, yeah, uh, I called the cops. We got robbed. They took everything. <laughs> oh, do you know who did it? <laughs> Boiny, knock it off! <laughs> yeah, you're right. This joke's getting old anyway. Come on inside. Okay. Wow, they really did take everything, huh? Yeah, officer, they really cleaned us out. Boiny, cut it! 
it out. Okay, Karen, but I don't know what to do. I'm the only cop. Boynie, just take what you know and make an assessment. Hmm, who would rob us? Do we have any enemies? I don't. Everybody loves me. I'm a lovely person. A lot of people hate me. I do have a lot of enemies. Huh, who would rob us? They took my three TVs and my Tom Brady football. Who would want to do that? <gasps> you! What? You hated my TVs and my football because I gave them more attention than you! But Boydie, how would I take all our furniture? Huh, okay. Well, I got my eye on you. Well, you see, my TVs are replaceable, but my football's not. So who would want to steal that? <gasps> Tom Brady! What? Yeah, he hates that football. Of course he'd want to take it. It makes perfect sense. And he stole everything else to cover up that he was stealing the football. Boyne, that's ridiculous. He wouldn't do that. He deflated footballs to win games, Karen. He's smart, and he makes out with his son. I don't really know the motive for that. Maybe he's just fucking weird. But I'm going to go interrogate him. But Boyne, no! Oh, it's so boring. There's nothing to do. Where am I? Hello, Tom. Or do you prefer Thomas? Tom's fine. Well, do you know why you're here, Tom? Is this because I went to a ditty party? Oh, you did? Well, no. I guess we're gonna find out about that later. But no. Have you ever robbed anyone, Tom? Rob Gronkowski? But uh, yeah, that is a guy whose name is Rob. But no, I mean, have you ever stolen anything? Well, I stole the other team's place. Okay, well, that's cheating, Tom. But no, I mean, have you ever broken into someone's house and taken something that didn't belong to you? No. Oh, really? Well, have you ever had anything taken from you? Like, maybe, your ex-wife? Whoa! Yeah, that's right, Tom, I'm going there. And I'm gonna keep showing you this picture of your ex-wife being uncomfortably close to Antonio Brown until you tell me what I want to know. I don't know anything, I swear! Oh, really? Because somebody broke into my house and they stole the last football you ever threw as a Patriot. The one that was intercepted and run back for a touchdown. Why would you bring that up? Because I was there, Tom, and I remember it like it was just yesterday. Come on, Brady, you can win. Just gotta throw a 100-yard touchdown. You can pull that off. And it was intercepted. Yep. Oh, yeah. There it is. That's that. Be cool to have that ball one day, though. Yeah. It happened right in front of me. And I have that ball now. Or at least I did until you stole it. I didn't steal it, I swear. So you're not gonna talk, huh? Okay. No more Mr. Nice Cop. It's time for Mr. Naughty Cop. What are you doing with that chapstick? Pucker up, Tom. I'm gonna kiss you until you tell me the truth. Oh no, I don't want you to kiss me! Hey, Boynie, how was interrogating Tom Brady? Well, he is definitely innocent. He definitely didn't rob us. Good kisser, though. What? Nothing. Hey, maybe I should interrogate Tom Brady. No, I don't think you're really his type. Well, who's next on your suspect list, Boynie? Let's see, who else would want to rob us? Oh, I know, Jonathan. What, your brother? Yeah, think about it, Karen. He's jealous of me. He wants to be me. Maybe he thinks if he steals all of our furniture and all my stuff, you'll leave me for him. You know what? That one actually makes sense. Yeah, that's right. To my mom's house. Boney, are you gonna drive? I thought we were gonna do like a transition with my face, you know, it's gonna be like, yeah, you know. Boney, just drive. Okay. <laughs> I think that's enough for the day. Hey, Jonathan. <gasps> How long have you been in my room? I think I got here right on time. Well, I was looking at the anime girls while I did it. Okay, look, I just have a few questions. Well, listen, the paper towel roll was an experiment, but the hawk, he feels really good. No, not about that. Did you break into my house and steal all my stuff? Does it look like I broke into your house and stole all your stuff? No, not really, but I thought, like, maybe you were jealous of me. <laughs> jealous of you? Do you see what I'm working with here? Yeah, you're 35, living with mom, banging the Incredible Hulk. You're really living the dream here. Yeah, because he probably feels like the real thing. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry I came. You did? Wow, you didn't even touch him. No, Jesus, Jonathan, I'm leaving. Boynie, how was interrogating your brother? My brother is a very sick man. Oh no, does he have the flu? No, what he has is much worse. <gasps> Cancer? I, I don't know what's wrong with him. Well, who's next on your suspect list, Boynie? Who else would want to rob us? Hmm. 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 Meh. 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 My ex-wife. Oh no. Yeah, but do I really want to go talk to her? Hmm. No, 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 I don't. But Marvin! Marvin? You think Marvin stole our stuff? No, I really don't. But I'm out of leads, and usually when I go over to his house, something happens. So to Marvin's house! Boyne, you still gotta drive! Fuck! Damn, I'm coming. Hello? Get up against the wall! Huh? Why'd you rob me? What? Bitch! I didn't rob you! <sighs> I was afraid you'd say that. Can I come in and talk? You already are inside. Oh, yeah, you're right. To the red couch! 
Ugh, so what's going on? It's 1 a.m. Well, me and my wife went to sleep about an hour ago, and when we woke up, we found somebody broke into our house and stole all our stuff. Stole all your stuff? Yeah, all of it. Like, my three TVs. Wait, why do you have three TVs? Ugh, you sound just like my wife. Yes, my three TVs, my couch, that football that's sitting right there next to you, my... What? Marvin, you're under arrest! For what? For stealing all my stuff! Well, no, no, I didn't steal this. I bought this on Facebook Marketplace an hour ago. What were you doing on Facebook Marketplace this late? Well, I like to buy knickknacks. Knickknacks? How much did you pay for this thing? Like a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars? Jesus fuck, you can't even afford your mortgage and you're buying a hundred dollar footballs? We can't even afford to buy me new shoes! Well, look, I bought a copy of Max Keeble's Big Move for two dollars. Two dollars? What a steal, Marvin! I would say that's the max amount a keyboard you can get for two dollars. What a big move. I know. I, I couldn't believe it. It was so cheap. Well, okay. Well, what did the guys that sold you this stuff look like? Hmm, well, they were wearing black. Black? No, no, no. They were white wearing black. Oh, well, do you have their phone number? I do have their phone number. Let me get it for you. All right. I'm going to call them and give them a piece of my mind. Okay. I already dialed the number. It's ringing. Thanks, Marvin. Hey there! Hey there, you fuck. Remember me? I'm the one you stole the mattress out from under. Oh, you don't like Max Keeble's big move? Come again? Oh, you don't like the Max Keeble? Oh, Marvin, you dialed the wrong number. This is the Max Keeble guy. Oh. Well, no, I actually love Max Keeble's big move, but I am wondering why you sold it for only $2. That's a really small price for such a big move. Ah, uh, you know, I just got tired of watching it over and over again. What? Tired of watching Max Keeble? But it's laugh out loud funny. Sir, I just simply don't understand you. Goodbye. All right, Marvin, give me the real number. I'm sorry. It's the other number. Hold on. Okay, that's the right number. Hello. Hey, asshole, how's my couch? Oh, the guy! The guy we roll! He on the phone! Well, tell him he's not getting his furniture back. We found the perfect painting to piece it all together. I didn't tell him we were going to give him his furniture back. Oh, you better not. Ugh, power bottoms, am I right? Listen, man, I just want my TVs back. <gasps> the three TVs that we put in the living room? We are watching Max Cable, Big Move on one, Plane Crash Documentary on another, and on the big one, we are watching Live Update on the Hurricane. Oh, you're living the dream. That's what I want to do. Wait, what's the Hurricane doing? Oh, uh, it's it coming straight for us. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, speaking of, you may want to get new Hurricane shutters. Look, can I just have my furniture back? No, Rooms to Go doesn't deliver till December. What are we supposed to sleep on? The floor? Well, now I have to sleep on the floor. Yeah, well, you better sleep on the floor because if you come back to try and get it from us, then we will slay you like pig dog. Or we will bend you over and make you power bottom. Okay, on second thought, you can have it. Thank you. Hey, what's going on? I'm not getting that furniture back, but that's fine. All I really wanted was the football. It's the only thing that's not replaceable. But I bought it for $100, so finders keepers. Yeah, well, buying stolen property is illegal, so I could arrest you. So if you don't mind, I'm going to be taking my football. And I'm going to be taking Max Keeble's big move. Actually, I'm going to stay here and watch Max Keeble's big move because I don't have a TV or a couch at home. And my wife's going to bitch that I didn't get our furniture back. And I'm going to watch an airplane documentary on your phone. And what is that hurricane doing? So, guys, you ready to play Laser X Ultra Laser Tag? Oh, yeah, dude, I'm ready to shoot some stuff up. Pew, 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 pew. Guys, I'm the best at Laser X Ultra Laser Tag. No, you're not, Cody. We just got it today. We haven't even opened it. I know. I was just lying to seem cool. That's right. Now, shut up. So let's open up this box and play it, guys. Oh, yeah, dude. Hold on, guys. I'm getting a call from my mommy. Hello? Cody, you forgot to do your chores this morning. Come home and do them now. Oh, sorry. Well, can't I just do them tomorrow? No, Cody. What if tomorrow never comes? What if the sun explodes? Okay, well, first of all, if the sun explodes, then the chores won't matter. And also, our sun's not going to explode because it's a yellow dwarf. In a few billion years, it's going to expand into a red giant. And then after that, it's just going to turn into a white dwarf. Okay, smarty pants, you spent all your time learning about stars instead of learning the vegetables. But, Mom, I already know my vegetables. Okay, then, name the green one. Mom, a lot of vegetables are green. Broccoli, Cody, the green one is broccoli. Mom, there are other green vegetables, and you couldn't name a single one. Now come home and do your chores, or I'm going to throw away all your Laffy Taffy. Not my Laffy Taffy. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I just want to kill my mom. I feel you, bro. I wish I had two hot gay dads that would make out all the time. And that's where you lost me. All right, guys, I'm going to go home and do some stuff. Uh, don't play laser tag without me. Well, but, 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 but Cody, we... <sighs> now we have to wait on him. Aw, oh, man, I want to play Laser X Ultra. That's so stupid. Let's just watch TV until he gets back. Uh. Jeff is only on sale for a little while. Might as well go and buy one. Only on sale for a limited time. Might as well buy a hundred. Buy Jeffy's U2s right now. Buy Jeffy's U2s right now. 
Hey everyone, there's a Jeffy YouTube's on sale for a limited time only, so go buy one and enjoy it! Thank you! Breaking news, Unkei! A serial killer is on the loose murdering women. A lot of women's bodies have been found around town, and there are currently no leads or persons of interest. Oh, dude, a serial killer! No way! That's crazy, I didn't know this existed anymore. Oh, dude, that's a movie. It really is. Hey, look, Joseph, we're serial killers because we're killing cereal. <laughs> you can't believe this stuff. Yeah, it's insane. Wait, you know what's really sad? There's someone out there getting brutally murdered, and we're sitting on the couch and we munch. murder's <laughs> like, wow, like, in back to life, and everybody like, you know, murder. I didn't understand a single thing you said, Joseph. <laughs> Me too. Hey, hey guys, I'm back. Let's play laser tag. Whoa. Uh, Cody, why do you have a shovel? Oh, I had to do some chores. You'd like look crazy. Oh, yeah, well, my mom wanted me to get rid of this wasp nest, and I had this bottle of wasp tray, but then I was about to spray it, and then the wasp came right at my face, so I swatted at it, and then my glasses fell off, so then I tried to spray the wasp, but then I was holding the bottle backward, so I sprayed myself in the eyes, so then I'm running around because my eyes hurt, and I'm getting stung by wasps, and I step on a cat's tail, and it starts scratching me all over my body. And then, my mom wanted me to dig up this old time capsule her parents buried back in the 90s, and I tried to tell her it's not gonna be there because we don't live in the same address as you did when you were a kid, but she wouldn't listen, so I had to dig up the whole yard, and obviously I didn't find it. So I've just had a hell of a day. You guys eating Lucky Charms? Yeah, we were watching the news as a serial killer going around killing women. Oh, mm -hmm. that's crazy. Like Ted Bundy? Wait. That's crazy that you know another serial killer that would kill women. Well, I mean, he's, he's pretty popular. And it's even crazier that you have a shovel, dude. Yeah. Well, I explained the time capsule thing, right? Oh, mm. no, it's just a convenient story, though. Yeah, it's really weird. You also said right before you left that you wanted to kill your mom, and you weren't gone that long. Mm hmm Wait, you guys don't think I killed my mom? Uh, yeah, it's, it kind of, you have a shovel, you're covered in scratches like someone was fighting back. Right. No, this is from the chores. No, uh, your eyes are holding secrets that you can't tell, dude. Yeah, you have some crazy look in your eyes. Yeah. Well, no, guys, I, I told you what happened. Oh, so if you called your mom right now, she'd answer? Well, yeah, but please don't make me. She's gonna make me go look for the time capsule again. I think you should call your <laughs> mom. Call that. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll get my phone. Okay, I'm calling my mom. Put it on speaker so we can hear. Okay. Yeah. Wait, Dad? Wait, Cody, what the hell you on? Where's Mom? I don't know. The last time I saw her, she was outside with you. <gasps> yeah, yeah, she wanted to show me a wasp nest and show me where the time capsule was buried. Look, I don't know anything about all that. I'm just sitting here with my d car waiting on my cheese pizza to come, bro. Uh, okay, uh, well, can you please go find Mom? But look, I'm not getting out this damn shower. I'm busy. Wait, shower? I don't hear the shower running. Because you know how much water is, Cody? I'm not wait, wasting no damn water. Wait, so you're just standing in the shower naked waiting for a cheese pizza? Did you not hear me when I said my dick was hard? No, I heard that. I was just glossing over it because I didn't want to think about it. Well, my dick is hard and I'm waiting on my cheese pizza to come. Uh, I got that. Okay, but uh, 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 wait, why do you have mom's phone? Because she likes when I make little videos for, you know, surprise her. Kind of like a little peep show. Ew. Uh, okay, look, if, if you find mom, can you please just have her call me? Yeah, but it's gonna be a little minute. I'm gonna be busy in here until my pizza get here. <laughs> okay, thank you. Look, guys, my mom's not dead. It's just weird she didn't answer the phone, Cody. Really? Well, you heard him. He's standing in the shower, naked, with his dick hard, waiting for a cheese pizza. He's crazy. It sounds like you killed your mom. You told your dad to cover for you with that story. What, you think I came up with that? Nobody could come up with that. I'm surprised we did. It's just really weird, Cody, because you said you wanted to kill your mom. Your mom's not answering. Your dad has not seen your mom since you were there. I didn't murder my mom. Hmm. What if we're next, Joseph? I don't want to be next, dude. Wait, you said he only kills women, right? Who? The serial killer. I didn't even think you were that serial killer. I thought you were your own killer. I didn't know now I think you're that serial killer. No, I'm not any kind of killer. Well, you just brought up that you only kill women. No, I don't kill women. I don't kill anybody. I don't know. Something's don't weird. Him, yeah, something's up because you had a shovel and your mom's missing. And I mean, I don't know. Maybe your dad killed your mom. What, maybe, but I didn't. Wait, so your mom is dead? No, she's not <gasps> dead. That's weird. <gasps> hey, he no, he admitted yeah, yeah, he would have no, said my mom's no, not dead. He said maybe. No, she's not dead. I don't think. I. I I didn't kill anybody, okay? Hmm. Just wait right here, Joseph. No, oh, dude, I don't want to die! Well, you say you only kill women, right? I don't kill women! So, Joseph, you're safe. <laughs> Not a killer. Junior, why'd you have me come over here so fast? And what's with the knife? Well, we need four players for our Laser X Ultra Laser Tag game. Junior, that's a two-player game. Damn it, it's only two players? How are we all gonna play? Back up, Penelope. You don't want to be a woman around Cody when he's mad. What are you talking about? <sighs> they think I'm a serial killer. Oh, that's why you have the serial and the knife. No, actually. It's because he killed his mama. I didn't kill my mom. Then why'd your dad answer your mom's phone and he couldn't find your mom? My dad wouldn't look for her. Because she's dead as hell. She's not dead. Oh, yeah? Then where'd you bury her? I don't know. 
Ha! I mean, I mean, I didn't bury her. He doesn't know where he buried. He forgot where he buried her. Oh my god! Guys, I didn't kill my mom. Okay. Come on, Joseph. Let's go to Target and buy another Laser X Ultra so we can have two more controllers. So Penelope, you're gonna be here alone with Cody. Oh. And Cody, there's a knife right here. Okay. So you can cut your Lucky Charm marshmallows in half because they're too big for you to swallow. I don't have a problem swallowing marshmallows. Come on, Joseph. So, how are you today? Well, I've had better days. Well, why do you look like that? I got scratched by a cat. Hmm. Oh. What, I... Junior? God damn it. What are they doing? They're waiting for me to kill you. Uh, please don't. I'm not going to. They just think I will. Well, can I have some cereal? Sure. No! But Elby, he might have poisoned it! But how would I have poisoned it? You had wasp spray that you were trying to kill wasps with. Maybe you sprayed all over the cereal so you could kill Penelope. I didn't even kill the wasp with the spray. I got it in my own eyes! Very suspicious, Cody. Very <laughs> suspicious. Listen, Penelope, he's a serial killer. You should probably want to go because he kills women. I don't kill anybody. Uh, what? There's the news! <laughs> Breaking news, okay? Another dead woman's body has been found, but this time it was burned beyond recognition. You sick son of a bitch. Burn beyond recognition. You lit your own mom on fire. I didn't light my mom on fire. Then who did? I don't know. So she is lit on fire. No. Dude, we're dealing with a different type of animal. Yeah, crazy, just psychotic man right here. A mastermind of crime. Literally. Yeah, literally just not mentally all there. I didn't kill my mom. So you're telling me right now that that body on the news is not your mom. I mean, okay, there is a very, very, and I'm talking an impossibly small chance that that might be my mom. I like when the truth slowly starts to come out. Just pull it out of them. Yeah, when you interrogate a murderer, they just want to give you bread. But crumbs. it's not my mom. Okay, how do you know? Well, I, I guess I don't know for sure, but it's not her, okay? So I, I like how there's a woman out there murdered that might be your mom, and you're not running home looking for her. You're not calling your mom or dad again. Well, that's asking, because I don't think it's her. You're just emotionally numb, dude. Yeah, you just have no emotions or feeling or worry in the world. Oh, I have emotions. You're pissing me off. Well, there's a woman right here, and I kind of want to be single. What? Here's a knife. What? You guys sound more psychotic than I do. You're the one who may or may not be a mom killer, and we just want to know. I'm not going to... I didn't I didn't kill anyone. Okay, well, I'm going to kill your girlfriend, too. Goddamn. That's weird, he just wanted to kill you. No, I said I'm not going to kill her. I said I'm not going to. Back up, so, ba back up, back up, baby. that I wouldn't do it. I'll protect you, baby. You want me to do it, I'm not going to do it. He's just talking to himself. He has voices. Oh, he's losing it, dude. Yeah, well, I'm going to go make a phone call. I'm going to go order a pizza. Wait. Don't call the if you call the cops, I'm gonna be pissed. I said I'm ordering a pizza. You're so you're so like worried. Oh, bro, he's on air. Yeah, you really keep you keep thinking people are gonna call the cops on you. No one's calling the cops on you, buddy. You're so paranoid. Only a murderer would be that paranoid. I'm gonna go order a pizza. He's calling the cops. Hey there, somebody call the cops? God damn it, Junior, I knew you called the cops. Dad, I'm scared. So you're the guy who's been going around killing women, huh? No, I didn't. Then what are those scratches from? I got scratched by a cat. He doesn't even have a pet cat. It was a stray. Well, I would arrest him for lying. Okay, well, I'd like to arrest him, but I don't have enough evidence because I'm already supposed to be on administrative leave because I tried to arrest Tyreek Hill before his football game. Yeah, I had the Jaguars money line. I was trying to make some cash off of it. Anyway, I can't arrest him unless I have enough evidence. Well, he did have a muddy shovel. That's suspicious. I was trying to dig up a time capsule. That sounds like a lie. He did say he wanted to murder his mom. Because of, he didn't want to do his chores. But I didn't, though. Yeah, that is pretty suspicious. And then I told him to call his mom to prove she was alive. His dad answered with his dig. Okay, but he was, he was waiting for a cheese pizza. Okay, well, I don't get that excited over a cheese pizza. I might pop half a chub over some pepperoni, though. But that is pretty weird. Yeah, so I think it's weird that he was, like, saying he wanted to kill his mom. Now his mom's missing, and then they found a dead body on the news. I think Cody's guilty. Okay, well... Well, kid, you're gonna be under arrest, at least until we find the real killer. But no, that's bullshit! J Junior, I'm gonna kill you! But, oh, look! He's gonna start killing men now! Everyone, no one's safe! <sighs> well, at least that scummy scumbag's off the street. Finally. His phone's ringing. Hello? Hey there, can I speak to Cody? Who's this? This is Cody's mother. Uh... Aren't you supposed to be dead? Oh, yeah, I agree. With my long history of drug use, I didn't think I'd make it to the age of 30. But I did! Can I talk to Cody? Um, he just got arrested. Oh. Well, when he gets out of that little jail, you tell him he's grounded. Oh, okay. Well, he tried calling you earlier. Oh, yeah, I went to the store to buy him a book about vegetables. You know, Cody doesn't know his vegetables. He doesn't even know what broccoli is. That's, that is crazy. Yeah. So did your husband ever get his cheese pizza? Oh, yeah, he sure did. Is he still hard? Oh, yeah, he is. Well, I'll let Cody know you called. Who was that, Junior? Some wrong number caller. Someone who calls wrong numbers all the time. All right, Karen, you ready to watch Despicable Me 4? Yeah, Boydie, but I gotta 
finished pouring my bowl of cocoa pebbles. You know I can't watch a Despicable Me movie without my cocoa pebbles. Yeah, I know. God damn it, Karen. You're overflowing all over the couch. Oh, I'm sorry, Boiny. Uh, Boiny, Boiny, we're out of oat milk. Boiny, we're out of oat milk. Boiny, go to the gas station and get some more oat milk. Boiny, go to the gas station and get some more oat milk. Boiny, are you mocking me? No, Karen, I just don't understand why you can't just drink normal milk. Because, Boiny, it hurts the cows. Yeah, well, this hurts the oats. The cows, Boiny, the cows! Okay, fine, Jesus, I'll go get your stupid milk. Thank you, Boiny! Thank you, Boiny. Okay, I get Karen's stupid oat milk. I might as well get gas while I'm here. Douchebag. How does this work? Give me gas, come on. Hey, buddy, is your car loud enough? <laughs> no way, God, Tyreek, you have such a nice car. <gasps> That's Tyreek the Turtle from high school. Okay, okay, just play it cool, Brooklyn guy. Play it cool, play it cool. Ugh, it's okay, it's okay. He didn't see us. Just drive off. He didn't see you. What the hell was that? Oh, shit. Oh, shit, he saw me. Okay. Ugh. What? Tyreek the turtle from high school, is that you? Well, if it isn't, Brooklyn guy. Yeah, yeah, it's me. You probably didn't recognize me because I'm so handsome now without all that acne. Hey, you remember that time in school when I beat your ass in a race? Okay, well, you didn't beat my ass. I took a nap at the finish line because I had such a big lead. Still sticking with that story, huh? Yeah, well, it's not a story. That's what happened. The whole school knows it. Hey, did you see my... Car? Yeah, I did, and I think it's very ostentatious. I think you're overcompensating for something. Slow. Did you see my bitch? Your what? My bitch in the car. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw her. Yeah, whatever. I tap that shit every night in 4K. Wanna see? No, I'm good. I really don't... Okay, here comes the phone. What? That? That is a turtle penis. I didn't need to see... Oh, shit. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow, you are very well endowed. So, that's what I'm working with. Yeah, well, I guess it doesn't matter how slow you go when you're working with that. Hey. Yeah. Wanna race? What, that thing? No, yeah, my Hyundai Sonata is not really known for its speed, just its ability to pick up chicks. No, not that. Rematch. What, what like me and you race? No, I, I don't want to embarrass you in front of your bitch, buddy. No, no way. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You just did. <laughs> well, Brooklyn guy, if you want to race, you know where to find me. Yeah, okay, buddy. Well, that's not going to happen. <sighs> Jesus. <sighs> Fucking asshole. Fucking asshole! God damn it! <sighs> Uh, oh, 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 hey, hey, Tyreek, uh, well, uh, my, my AC doesn't work, so you gotta shake the car to make it go. Uh, fucking die, Tyreek, go away! God, I fucking hate this guy. Ugh, going home. Marvin, 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 do you want to try this Oreo Coca-Cola? No! No, I don't! No! They need to stop! What, no! What's no, what? this is what? madness! These companies, these companies are losing their mind. Coca-Cola is famous. Oreo is famous. They, they don't have to combine it, okay? Oreos are good on their own. Coke is good on their own. They don't have to make it into a drink. This is stupid. They have too much money. They're too bored. Billionaires are bored. Like, literally fucking stop. Literally, just take it away from me. I don't want to see it. You're gonna make me cry. Hey, Dad, you wanna play air hockey? On the couch? Yes. Well, how do we know if we score a goal? Well, right here. If you make it past your cushion, past this line right here, then you get a point. And if I make it past that line, I get a point. Okay. All right, and go. Fucked. Okay, that wasn't fair. That I want a rematch. There's someone at the door. Hold on, Jeffy. You gotta hold the rematch. Hello. Hey. What? Hey. What, what are you doing here? Why do you have oat milk? Oh. I don't know. Can I come in? Uh, sure. What's wrong, buddy? You seem mad. Oh, do I, Marvin? Do I seem mad? Oh, you found out they made Oreo Coke. What the fuck did you just say to me? Tell me I didn't just hear what I heard. They made Oreo Coke. Oh no, they didn't. Okay, that's fine. I'll be mad about that tomorrow. No, today I'm pissed off at a turtle. A turtle? Yes, a turtle at the gas station driving a Corvette. 
Are you are you sure you're okay, buddy? Yes, Marvin, he had a bitch, and I saw their sex tape. He was hung. I didn't know turtles could be hung. Buddy, did you take, like, drugs or something? Are you okay, buddy? No, okay, look, when I was in high school, there was this turtle... Uh, you know what? So we don't bore people, I will tell you in animation form. So when I was in high school, I was on the track team, and I was the fastest kid on the team. Well, the fastest white kid. No other white kid could ever beat me because I was so fast. People called me Rocket Boots Brooklyn because I ran so fast, and it looked like I had rocket boots for shoes. One day, I was in class, and the teacher's pet, Tyreek the Turtle challenged me to a race. I chuckled out loud, Ha! No way a turtle, who's known for being slow, is challenging me, the fastest white kid on the track team. I told the little slow bitch, Sorry, I don't want to embarrass you, little man. Then Tyreek the Turtle said, You're just scared I'm going to beat you. I chuckled even louder, Blah! -ha -ha -ha. And I said, Fine, I'll race you if you want to get beat so bad. So the whole school was crowded around at the track, and me and Tyreek lined up, and the sad, depressed kid held up a gun and said, On your mark, get set, Go! And he shot off the gun, and I took off so damn fast. I left Tyreek in the dust. By the time I was halfway down the track, Tyreek had only moved a few inches. I felt so bad, I decided to stop right before the finish line and take a nap, so I could wait for Tyreek to catch up, and I can embarrass him by crossing the finish line right before he does. But I fell asleep too long, and I woke up to Tyreek crossing the finish line. The whole school was laughing at me. I lost to a fucking turtle. I was kicked off the track team, and all the black kids never talked to me again. So that's the turtle I saw at the gas station with the Corvette and the bitch and the sex tape. Oh, so you're embarrassed because he beat you in high school. He didn't beat me. Technically, I let him win, you know? I was kind of just bragging because I basically already won. Now, I don't know why I took a nap before I got to the finish line. I probably should have crossed the finish line and then taken a nap. That way, when he crossed the finish line, I could wake up and be like, what took you so long? God, that would have been so cool. I would have gotten so much puss. Then I would have a Corvette and I would have a bitch and a sex tape and I would be hung. Marvin, I could have been hung. This turtle derailed my entire life. Well, why don't you just challenge him to a rematch? Well, I I ain't got no legs, Marvin. I ain't got no legs. You move around just fine. Yeah, you're right. I need to stop with the excuses. But I do have a phobia. I'm afraid of races. All races. Black, white, Chinese, all of them. I'm racist. What? No, I'm just kidding. But I actually do have a fear of races that involve, like, racers and finish lines. Like, NASCAR is a horror movie to me. What about a race makes you scared? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to fall asleep at the finish line again. Every time I get to a finish line, I get so sleepy, Marvin. I get so sleepy. Like the movie Cars? I've never finished it because I always fall asleep in the theater. And Fast in the Fury? More like the tired and the sleepy, although I have seen the last few because they don't race ever. Okay, well, why don't you just challenge into a rematch and conquer your fear? Just don't fall asleep. Just go across the finish line and win. Okay, all right. I'll call him and I will schedule a race next summer. Well, no, no, do it tomorrow. No, but it's going to rain all week, Marvin. What it if doesn't I... matter. But what if I slip on the rain and I fall and I hit my head and I fall asleep? That's not going to happen. Call him right now and tell him you're going to race him. <sighs> okay, you're right. I'll call him. All right, Marvin, it's ringing. Hello? Who is... This. Hey Tyreek, it's me, Brooklyn guy. I just want to let you know that I want to take you up on that offer for a rematch for tomorrow. Huh. Huh. Oh, God damn it. Huh. Hey. Hey, yeah, I'm here. What's up? I'll race you, but on one condition. Circumstance. God damn it. If I win, I get to sleep. With your wife. Okay, deal. But if I win, I get to bang your girlfriend in 4K. Deal. But it's never gonna happen. Okay, you listen here. Now, I'm gonna win that race tomorrow, and I'm gonna show you that I let you win in high school. I'm gonna cross that finish line so fast, I'm gonna circle back and cross it 30 more times before you even start. Hello? Tyreek? Ty Tyreek, you there? Sorry, I fell asleep. Oh, you bitch! Oh, ooh, that turtle. Ooh, I'm gonna cream him. Oh, I'm gonna cream that turtle tomorrow. Okay, Marvin, I'll see you tomorrow for the race. Tomorrow! Alright, where's it gonna be? I... In the street! Which... which... At your house! Well... Oh. Next to your house! We're gonna... I'm gonna... I will, I'll meet you there. We're gonna... We're gonna draw a line in the road. We'll figure it out. I... Uh, I don't know which road. Alright, turtle, you see that white line in the road? Yeah. Well, I'm going to cross that line before you, because I'm going to win. Yeah, right. I'm going to beat your ass like last time. Nuh-uh, because I'm not going to sleep this time. Okay, Simmons, let us know when to go. All right. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> I'm going to win, you slow fuck! <laughs> and there it is, the finish line. I'm actually gonna win this time! 
No, no, I'm not going to fall asleep. You hear that, world? I'm not falling asleep. I'm going to cross this finish line. Okay, here I go. <laughs> Was that lightning? Oh, well, it's a good thing lightning doesn't strike twice in the same place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm catching up. <laughs> Your ass is mine. Oh, come on. <laughs> easy clips, easy cheeks. <laughs> How's my dick taste? <laughs> no. No, you fuck! You're not gonna do this to me! Oh, I'm gonna do it! Oh, no, come on! Oh, come on, I can do it! No, slow down, you fucking turtle! Oh, no, 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 Boy, where have you been? It's been almost 24 hours. Did you get my old milk? Uh, no, the store was out. Boyny, what is that? Oh, this is, uh, my friend Tyreek. Boyny, but what about my old milk? You're about to get some turtle milk. No, oh, God, I can't watch. What is happening? Okay. So, guys, what do you want to do today? I don't know, dude. I'm bored. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh, Joseph, should I roast Cody to oblivion? Oh, yeah, dude, do it. Roast his ass. Oh, come on, guys. We don't have to. Uh, 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 um. Wearing a checkerboard shirt, head ass. Ooh, flame his ass, dude. Okay. Wearing glasses, head ass. Ooh, he hold it back today. <laughs> Yeah. Wearing a bow tie head ass. Oh, savage, savage. Wait, these aren't even insults. You're just saying what I'm wearing and then saying head ass. Coming from a mop head ass. Oh, put them in a casket. Okay, Cody, you gotta do Junior. <laughs> okay. No, no, like you gotta roast me. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not really good at this. Um, beady little eyes like a bird head ass. Oh, oh, oh no, he just got lucky. He got lucky. All right. Oh, okay. Um, uh, a weird little island of hair head ass. Oh, you oh, talking about your hair now? Oh, okay, chill out, chill, chill, chill out, chill out, chill out, you're going too far. Um, where's a bib like a baby head ass? Oh, oh he's calling you a baby! Oh, 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 no, no, we're not doing that, you're too far, you better apologize. Okay, I'm right, going in for the kill, I guess. Um, Ron Weasley Ginger from Harry Potter looking head ass. Oh, Take that back! Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Yeah, guys, I don't want to play this game anymore. It's not fun. It's not, it, oh, okay, so when you're roasting me, it's fun, but when I'm doing it to you, you don't like it? No, I, no, I, just, I, don't, want to, I don't want to do it. It hurt my feelings. Let's watch TV. I just want everyone to know that the Haitians in Springfield, Ohio, are eating the cats and dogs. They're like, mmm, yummy, the yummiest that they've ever tasted. I've personally never tasted it, but they're saying yummy every time they eat your cat and dog. Wait, are they really eating cats and dogs in Ohio? No, Junior. Then why would he say that on TV? I don't know. You know everything on TV is supposed to be true. I know that's the rule, but he broke it. Well, our teacher eats cats and dogs. It's true! The best cat and dogs in Springfield, Ohio! Is he Haitian, though? No, he's only Asian. Mm. So, guys, if you were old enough, who would you vote for for president? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'd probably vote for Kamala. What? Not Trump! He got shot in the ear! Yeah, that shit was cool and all, but uh, Kamala's a safe bet. No, all the coolest presidents have gotten shot. Like John F. Kennedy, shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Abraham Lincoln, shot. True, true. James Garfield. <gasps> the cat? No! He died? Well, no, the president. What? Garfield was a president? What? what? No, James Garfield, the president in the 1800s. His first name was James? What? I didn't know Garfield. I thought Garfield's name was just Garfield. I thought he liked lasagna. No, not, not the cartoon cat. There was a guy named James Garfield. What? I, I, there was actually like a human being named Garfield. Yeah, yeah, that was his name. See, all the presidents are cool. Even, look, that, that guy, that president was named after the cartoon. No way. Well, he wasn't named after the cartoon. He came first, and he wasn't voiced by Chris Pratt. Okay, they didn't just come up with the name Garfield. He, the cartoon came out first, and his dad named him after that. No, I, if anything, the cat was named after the president. Listen, all the coolest presidents have got shot in the head, and they all have done cool stuff. Like John F. Kennedy sent us to the moon, mm -hmm. and Abraham Lincoln, he, he never lied. Yeah, that's true. No, yeah. I mean, it, it, George Washington didn't lie either. See, what, what, did he get shot? Oh, no, he didn't get shot. Well, still, Abraham Lincoln's a pretty cool president. And look, he's on two pieces of money. He's on a $5 bill and a penny. Yeah, he freed the slaves, dude. <gasps> I got a theory on that. A theory? Yeah, so what if Abraham Lincoln didn't mean to free the slaves, he meant to set their price tag to free, so like you could just have one. I beg your pardon? No, no, don't get mad, don't, get, don't, don't cancel us, like, listen, like, think about it. What if Abraham Lincoln, when he said, I'm going to free the slaves, he meant 
that everyone could have one for free. Mm. No, no, I think you meant to free them. It was literally called the Emancipation Proclamation. I don't know what that word means. Well, emancipation means to free. Yeah, to set free, so maybe he meant to set the price to free. No, 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 it means like freed, like to liberate. Well, have you ever asked him? Well, no, because he's dead. Okay, well, if he wasn't dead, we could say, hey, what did you mean? Because I think maybe he meant to set the price to free. People got confused, they set them free, and he goes, well, that was pretty cool of me, that made me look really good, so I'm just going to stick with that. I get it, it's a fair argument. Yeah. No, no, I don't think so, but I mean, I do have a time machine if you want to go back in time and ask him. <gasps> Well, yeah, let's go back in time and ask Abraham Lincoln what he meant when he set the slaves free. Okay, I'll get my time machine. Yeah. All right, guys, this is my new portable time machine. Portable? Yeah, I got tired of hauling the other one around. It was just too clunky. So how does this one work? Well, you see, the problem with this one is you can only use it once a year because it uses the power of a black hole, and that takes about a year to charge. So you can only go somewhere and come back once, and then you have to wait till next year. That's kind of lame. Yeah. Well, who wants to go see Abraham Lincoln? I do, I do. Joseph, you want to go see Abraham Lincoln? Nah, dude, I think I'm going to chill here. What, you don't want to meet Abraham Lincoln? Nah, I don't think it's safe for me to go on that timeline. Uh, how is it not safe? I mean, it's Abraham Lincoln. Bro, black people were considered three-fifths a person. <gasps> they were that short? No, dude, no. Just leave without me. But you'll be the tallest black guy there. I guess so, but just leave without me. Okay, oh. guys, we all have to hold hands. What? I promise it's nothing gay. It's just you have to be holding on to anything that you're taking with you. Okay. Come on, Dan, you want to go see Abraham Lincoln? Of course you do. He's your favorite president. Okay, now I just have to say the date. April 15th, 1865. Kapow! Oh, I forgot to push the button. Ugh, this play fucking sucks. Abraham. What? It does? I wanted to see Lion King. We'll see Lion King next time. We'll see Lion King next time. It's not like I have a country to run or anything. I need to get a picture of this. Send it to Andrew Johnson. He's not gonna believe this shit. Excuse me, sir, no flash photography. Oh, come on, what am I even gonna do with it? It's not like I'm gonna take a video and post it to YouTube. Hmm, YouTube. Mary, what if there was a website where you could post videos? What's a video? I don't know. Uh, excuse me, sir. Oh, please, call me Lincoln. Uh, Mr. Lincoln, <laughs> sorry to bother you. You know, I just wanted to thank you for freeing the slaves and all. Can I get your autograph real quick? Oh, yes, of course. And I'll do it for free. Oh, yeah, I heard it. He said a lie. That's my dog. Hey, hey, I'm going to vote for you. <laughs> like they can vote. <laughs> Working on that. <laughs> you see that? Free the slaves. And you would think. Since I did such a good thing, they would give me some better fucking seats than having to sit way the hell up here where I can't see anything. I want to sit front row. I want to sit where that gentleman is sitting. Is he the president? Oh, no, he's not, because I'm the president. I can't even see. Everybody looks like ants down here. Abraham, behave yourself. We're getting front row for Lion King. I want to see the stilts on the giraffes. Fine. Uh, excuse me, can I get you to any concessions? Oh, yes. I would like some gummy bears, a Three Musketeers bar, and some buttered popcorn. Abraham, you're on a diet. Oh yes, I forgot. No gummy bears, no Three Musketeers bar, and shoot me in the fucking head. Abraham! Okay, extra butter for the popcorn. I gotcha. Ugh, oh, I'm so fucking bored. I'm gonna listen to my records. Did you bring my AirPods? I don't know what those are. Neither do I. Oh, Abraham, don't bring that out, please! It's so embarrassing! Well, I need something entertaining instead of how I met my cousin or whatever the fuck this is. Yes, that's my shit. That's my jam. Uh, Mr. Lincoln, your popcorn. Ugh, yes, marry the popcorn. Oh, Thank you. You're welcome. If there's anything else, you know, just let me... <laughs> are you okay? Ugh, what, are you trying to kill me? What is your name? My name is John Wilkes Booth, sir. Well, John sucks, Poop. This popcorn is butterless and stale. I specifically requested butter popcorn. I'm sorry, sir. Well, fix it. Yes, sir. I hate it here. Abraham, you talk too much. Yeah, well, you know where they didn't say that? At the Gettysburg Address, oh. where I spoke for a very long time. People love that shit. Four score and seven years ago. Mr. Lincoln, your buttered popcorn. Mm, thank you. Jacob? Yes, sir. What is that? Is that a hair? Yes, sir. Really? And do you think that the President of the United States, who freed the slaves and ended the Civil War, should have to eat hairy popcorn? No, sir. Then fix it! Oh, my word. Oh, it is hot in here. Ugh, Abraham, you shaved your head! Well, I had lice. We don't have a cure for that yet. Here's your popcorn with no hair. Now, wait a minute. Is this the same popcorn that touched the hair? Yes, sir. So you just took the hair away and you didn't replace the popcorn? Yes, sir. 
Oh, good. Hey, everybody who's richer than the president and gets better seats, enjoy my popcorn. Don't worry, hair touched it. Now you listen here, Jacob. I will have your job. I will have you fired. I would rather be shot in the head than have to watch this boring fucking play and deal with your terrible service. Get out of my sight. Abraham, get up. Oh, ha ha, very funny. The play's that boring, you fell asleep. Get up! Oh, I'm out of here. Wait, where's Abraham Lincoln? Oh, damn it, Junior, we're too late. He already got shot. What? You said you got the time right. Well, I didn't know the exact time. Oh, so what do we do now? I guess now we just go back to our time. Well, well we're not going to be able to do anything fun that we said we were going to do. I know, but we don't want to mess anything up here. We should just go back. <sighs> okay. Okay, hold my hand. Oh, Abraham, I don't want to fight. Let's just go home. Oh, Abraham, you've gotten smaller. You were so tall anyway. Wow, Cody, I can't believe you took us back in time after Abraham Lincoln got shot. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna have to wait till next year. And get the time right next time. Wait, where's Ken? I don't know. Aw, oh, damn it. What? I left Ken on Abraham Lincoln's dead body. You did? Yeah, now we're gonna have to wait till next year to get him back. You don't seem too upset about having to wait a year. Well, it's fine. I know I'm gonna get him back. I just have to wait a little while. And honestly, that's fine. I was thinking about downloading Grinder and seeing what those glory holes are all about. Wait a minute, Cody. You left Ken on Abraham Lincoln's dead body. What do you think that did to history? I don't know. <gasps> Whoa, look! Look at the five! Bill! Wait, is that Ken? Why is Ken on a $5 bill? Oh my god. They must have gotten Ken confused with Abraham Lincoln. How's that even happen? They look nothing alike. Yeah, and Abraham Lincoln's body was right there. Hold on, let me check Wikipedia. That's so crazy. Oh my god, Junior, look, this is Abraham Lincoln now. Whoa, Ken is Abraham Lincoln. And look, he finished his term. Yeah, because he didn't get assassinated. That's so crazy. Joseph, what do you think about Ken being the president? Oh my god, Joseph's three-fifth a person! Oh my god, Ken brought back slavery! What's up, dude? Ah! What, I was in the bathroom. I had to pee. Look, oh, I found a finger toy. Isn't it cool? I thought you were three-fifths a person still. Come on, dude. Abe Lincoln fixed that. Oh, what do you think about Ken being Abraham Lincoln? Who? Cody's boyfriend, Ken. He's Abraham Lincoln. Cody don't know the president, dude. Stop lying. To Junior, Junior, he doesn't know because we changed history. To him, this is Abraham Lincoln. Oh, when did Abraham Lincoln die? He never died. He's over 200 years old, duh. Oh, because he's a doll. He can't die. No, he's not a doll. He's just the president. Yeah, Wait. He's busy giving Getty, Gettysburg speeches and stuff. It's always lame. He's like mute, so I don't know how that works. Oh, he can't talk because he's a doll. He's not a doll, Junior. He's I, the president. I still can't believe Ken is the president. Who? Oh, Abraham Lincoln. Ah. <laughs> Junior, we have to go get him. What? We can't go get him. He's a former president. He's probably covered in Secret Service agents. Yeah, but I want him back. Oh, well, I mean, we could try to get him back. Yeah, let's go get him. Let's go. Okay. Okay, Cody, look, there's Ken. And look, there's the real Abraham Lincoln's dead body. Why has no one noticed it? I don't know. All right, so I'm going to distract that Secret Service agent, and you grab Ken. Okay. Uh, hey there. Hi, what are you doing near the presidential booth? Uh, Abraham Lincoln's my favorite president, so I wanted to meet him. Well, you can meet him from back there. Just don't come any closer. The president's very old. Uh, okay, well, why are you guys still at the Ford Theater? Well, we're watching the president's favorite play, the Lankin. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. There's a sniper outside trying to shoot him. What? Wait a minute. Hey, get back here with that gun. Well, that was easy. Wait, let's go, let's go. Oh, there was no shooter, dumb kids. <gasps> Where is the president? Oh, no, the president's been kidnapped. We got a 2319. We got a 2319. Uh, well, we got Ken back. No way, dude. Abraham Lincoln's here? Cody, you really know Abe Lincoln? Wait, wait, real quick. Thank you for freeing the slaves. You cool as hell for that. You my favorite president, for real, for real. Well, actually, Abe Lincoln's gonna live here for a while. What? Here? Oh, that's cool as hell. That's like the White House. That's fancy, dude. Yeah, you, you just have to make sure nobody knows he's here. Yeah, it's a secret. Can't tell anyone. What? No way, dude. I gotta tell everybody. No, Abraham Lincoln likes his privacy. Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah, so just don't tell anyone, okay? I guess so. Wait, what's that, Abraham Lincoln? Oh, you want us all to leave? Okay, guys, let's leave. Yay. All right, I think Joseph is going to be gone for a little bit. So we just, I, in a year, you better fix this. Okay, we will. Yeah, because now Joseph is going to think he's Abraham Lincoln every time. Yeah. Yeah, so. <gasps> the news! Breaking news, MK! Abraham Lincoln has been kidnapped. If you've seen the president, please call 911 immediately. Well, I can't leave the house with Ken for a year now. Yeah. Because then the Secret Service will arrest you. Right. Well, I'm going to go clap some presidential cheeks. <laughs>